Netanyahu to blame for failure, say 80% of Israelis Hamas launched a rocket attack on Israel on October 7. Israel's defense system failed to stop this attack. For this reason, 80% of the people of Israel blame Prime Minister Netanyahu. Al Jazeera, a Qatar-based media outlet, says that this information was obtained from a recent survey. According to an opinion-based survey conducted by an Israeli newspaper called Daily Marav, 65% of the people of Israel think that a ground attack should be carried out in Gaza at this moment. However, 21% think that ground attack should not be carried out now. And 80% think that Netanyahu must take responsibility for the failure of October 7. Among these 80% are those who voted for Netanyahu in the last election. Only 8% think that Netanyahu cannot be held responsible. This information is not good news for Netanyahu, said Al Jazeera journalist Alan Fizer from East Jerusalem. Although he wants to attract the attention of the world's big leaders to get their support, but in Israel, most of the people are against him. Meanwhile, Israel launched airstrikes on Gaza's oldest church, which shelters Palestinians. The attack was carried out at the Church of St. Porphyrius on Thursday evening local time. A part of the church was damaged in the attack. Apart from this, some people were injured. The Greek Orthodox St. Porphyrios Church is located in Gaza City in the valley. Christian and Muslim Palestinians sought refuge in the Greek Orthodox Church after Israel's conflict with Hamas began. Last Tuesday, about 500 people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on Al-Ali Arab Hospital, located near this church. After the conflict started on October 7, a large number of people have taken shelter in various churches and hospitals. Israel's airstrikes in Gaza in 13 days killed nearly 4,000, 12,500 injured. On the other hand, more than 1,400 people have been killed in Israel by Hamas attacks. In such a situation, Israel has gathered a large number of troops on the border with the aim of ground operations in Gaza.